Five Nights at Freddy's Security Breach was released more than a year ago and was met with bad reviews online due to issues with the gameplay and mostly with the story. People complained that the story was missing crucial elements to a FNAF game that truly made it a horror game. The story also felt rushed and felt like it was changed at the last minute which might be true. But finally, we're getting an addition to that same story this July as the trailer for the Ruined DLC was just released. And in this video, I'm going to break down the trailer and go over every easter egg or detail you might have missed, so let's get started. The trailer starts with our first look at the new protagonist who we learn is named Cassie. People are drawing comparison to the name Cassidy who is one of the spirits inside Golden Freddy. Golden Freddy was never physically in Security Breach, but many people theorized that she was in the Princess Quest minigame trying to stop Glitchtrap, which does make sense. The names are very similar, and there's a big chance that Golden Freddy will make an appearance in the game outside the Princess Quest minigames. A minor detail shown in the first shot is the game will take place during the daytime instead of midnight like the main game. This probably won't have that much of an effect on the gameplay, but it's still a noticeable detail. We then hear Gregory calling for Cassie to save him as he's trapped inside the Pizzaplex. Now this does raise some questions like how is Gregory communicating with Cassie? How does Gregory even know Cassie and how is Gregory trapped in the Pizzaplex if the last time we saw him he was trapped with Freddy in the FNAF 6 location? I also think it's important to note that we're assuming this DLC takes place after the burn trap ending and that it's the canon ending. This would explain the next couple of shots we get as we see the pizzeria rundown after the fire. We see places like Monty Golf, the kitchen, and the daycare center all again run down. We can only assume that this takes place a long time after the ending of Security Breach, but exactly how long is that period? Personally, I think there's about a year difference as the Pizzaplex is drastically different from the ending. But if there was a year long difference, how is Gregory able to survive? Well, the only logical explanation there is, is controversial, but what if Gregory is a robot? Now I know many people don't agree with this theory, but I think there's a good chance that this DLC will explore this theory, but only time will tell. Moving on back to the trailer, we then see Roxy's new design, and she's even more broken down from the ending. This design is definitely more terrifying, and so far I love this darker tone of the gameplay. We then see Cassie using a new device, but it's not clear what this device is being used for, or at least not yet. We then see an endoskeleton, and there's a chance that the endoskeleton will be around the entire Pizzaplex and not just the garage system. This is followed by our first look at Chica's new design, and like Roxy, this design is terrifying. We then see the new camera system, and this time it won't be through a fast watch. In this case, it's a stationary monitoring system, so the camera quality is much better. But this also means you won't be able to check the cameras at any given moment. It's a cool design that will change the gameplay we're used to which might also make it harder. We then see the same device from a couple of shots ago being plugged into a different monitor and again it's not clear what its purpose is. We then see Cassie talking to Gregory through a Roxy styled walkie talkie and she tells him to run. It looks like Gregory will be involved in the gameplay and won't just be something stationary you have to save. We then get a shot of a staff bot who is completely destroyed and this is followed by a first look at Monty who looks completely different. He doesn't even have his shell anymore and it's just an endoskeleton trying to attack you. We then get a shot of Cassie on the Gator Goff ride as she jumps off into the rundown location. Seeing these rundown locations just supports the theory that this DLC will take place a long time after Security Breach. We then get a quick shot of Chica and we even get a death animation from Monty and the jumpscares are a lot more dynamic and honestly look scary this time. A big complaint from Security Breach where the jumpscares got boring and repetitive after a while but it looks like this time they will be a lot more interactive which I'm excited for. We then get a shot of Chica as it looks like she's getting thrown into the trash compactor. This would make sense as in the next shot we get our first look at Freddy who is also more destroyed from the ending. It looks like Freddy is being crushed by the trash compactor and because of this it does prove that Gregory and Freddy were able to escape the FNAF 6 location. We then get what looks like another death animation with Roxy and again the jumpscares look interactive. It looks like Cassie's trying to escape Roxy the same way she tries to escape Monty. I think there will be a new feature in the gameplay where you have a chance in escaping the animatronics jump scare. I think this would make the gameplay less boring as it wouldn't be guaranteed you'll have to restart a section every time you're jump scared. We then get our first look at what people are calling Eclipse as he's a mixture of sun and moon. People were also pointing out the fact that he seems a lot more friendly in this DLC, which is leading many people to believe that he won't be a villain in this game and will instead help Cassie the same way Freddy helps Gregory. We then get our last shot of the trailer which is Cassie putting on a Vanny mask and then seeing a virtual version of Vanny. I think this feature will be similar to the one in FNAF 2 where you can use the mask to trick some of the animatronics and escape them, but there would be a limit on how long and how often you can use the mask as Vanny would slowly start taking control of you. This way the mask is balanced and relevant to the story. The last shot is then followed by the title card of the DLC and so far I'm very excited. There's a darker and scarier tone to this game which is something the main game was missing. The environment is darker and the animatronics are much scarier so again I'm very excited for this DLC. I'm interested to see what Vanny's role will be in the DLC as she wasn't seen at all except for the last shot. I'm sure she'll still be acting as a villain from the shadows like in Security Breach. But I am curious about the blobs role in this game as their tentacles were seen in the poster for the DLC meaning they might pose as a villain. 
I don't think Burn Trap will be in this game as he was defeated in the last game and I don't think he should be in this game. The Afton family should have ended with FNAF 6 and I hope this DLC explores new characters and stories and so far it is looking that way. But with that said, this is my breakdown of the Five Nights at Freddy's Security Breach Ruin Trailer. What did you guys think about the Ruin Trailer and what do you guys hope happens in the DLC? I hope you guys enjoyed this video and make sure to like and subscribe for more content like this. Thanks for watching.